Good evening. This is another fireside chat brought to you by E Chip and Robber. <laughs> <laughs> and tonight's tonight's topic is the United States economy. <laughs> <laughs> It should come as no surprise to any of you <clears throat> that the U.S. economy is in a world of hurt right now. <laughs> the Federal Reserve has announced that for an indefinite period, of course they've stated a definite period, but we all know it's indefinite, <clears throat> they're going to be printing and throwing more money at the banks in an effort to stave off financial catastrophe. Well, and this is true, this is not poppycock. It's not in the news because they don't want you to know the news. <clears throat> They'd rather that you'd be ignorant, fat, and happy with your Subaru and your mortgage. So, but I'm here to tell you that the United States economy is headed for definite ruin, worse than the financial crisis of 2008. <laughs> Therefore, we recommend wholeheartedly that one get oneself out of debt as quickly as possible in any way you can, and to live well within your means, even if that means living in a earthen hovel along the riverside. A dugout, as they call them here in Oklahoma. <laughs> or a, a dugout, do you say? A dugout. <laughs> Sounds like a baseball term, another Americanism. <clears throat> Bit of Americana there. <clears throat> No, but seriously, folks, things are looking pretty ugly uh, for the economy, worse than they have uh, in the what, 11 years uh, since the 2007-2008 financial crisis. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but if you'll hear me as a friend and as someone who wants to help, please get yourself out of debt as quickly as you possibly can. Get out from under any encumbrances you have and try to set yourself up in as good a position as you possibly can because all of the financial and economic data right now is pointing to some pretty serious stuff and we're not just talking about the banks shipping is down international trade is down manufacturing is down service sector uh, expansion is down and it's contracting uh, we're headed for another large set of bubbles, both in housing and in auto finance, if you can believe that. Student loan debt is a bubble. The bond market is a bubble. The entire stock market is a bubble waiting to burst. And we just keep printing money and throwing it at it, thinking it's going to fix it, or at least to stave off, uh, you know, the inevitable in the hope that somehow magically things are going to turn around, there's going to be this growth expansion, something suddenly is going to happen to fix it all. Folks, you cannot always grow your way out of debt. You do have to eventually pay it down. And we are not doing that. We're borrowing money to pay on the interest for money that we already borrowed. And you can't do that in a household. You can't do it as a country. And if you just keep printing money, the money becomes worthless eventually. So, just a just a helpful suggestion from me, Chip and Robert. Do your best uh, to get out of debt and put yourself in a great as and put yourself in the best financial condition that you can. Thanks.